So in this video we are making these super stunning abalone shell jewellery pieces. Let's go! Right, we are back. Um, we're going to have a little play around again with some abalone shells. Now, granted, you don't get many in here, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, and they're really tricky to open these lids. I've had to, you can see, I've had to really plier those apart to get in them. So I just want to play around with a, a couple of different ideas, really. First of all, I want to um, place the abalone shell in a thin layer of UV resin, and then I'm going to try it a different way. So you can do this with two part resin. I am just doing it with UV resin, just because it's quicker and I'm impatient. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to try is a flat faced mold. So it's not domed, it's just flat. And I, I really am only applying, I'm making a mess. <laughs> a thin layer of UV resin, just so it covers the surface of the mold. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to start breaking some of this shell up into smaller pieces. And then I'm just going to place the most colourful side down into the resin that we've put in. And then just gently push down. Try and get any bubbles out, because we don't really want any bubbles. Similar to how we did the abalone ring. And then we just break up smaller parts to fit inside the narrow part of the mold and you can also fill any of the really little gaps with some smaller pieces and once you've done that part you just give it a cure helps if you plug your light in there <laughs> now to finish that off I'm just going to mix up a small amount of black mica powder with my UV resin Again, not too much because the light does need to be able to penetrate through and cure. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. Thank you very much. We're just going to mix that in until there's no more dust. And then just pour that over evenly. You could do it in a couple of layers if you like, just so you know it's curing through. And then just using my silicon tool, just taking it all the way to the edges. And I'm going to do this in two layers, just to make sure that it's fully cured. So that is my two layers. I'm now going to flip my mould and then just cure the back. Which is the front. Now the other way I want to try it is in this mould. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to cure a layer of resin first because we're working still from the front to the back but the pieces aren't rounded so I'm not really going to get a good um, a good finished product if I do the same way on this so I'm, I'm wondering whether it would also magnify the pieces of shell so I'm going to start with this heart I don't think it's going to magnify it much but I'm just going to apply a layer almost to the surface and then cure that. Now that's cured, I'm just going to repeat exactly what I did in the first one by just applying a thin layer of resin and then just adding my shell bit by bit. But I want to stay clear of this area here in case I want to drill it and turn it into a pendant, this area just here. And again, I'm just going to cure and then layer that with a black backing. So it's time to see what we've got. I did a round one, but I think that's going to be a pile of poop, if I'm completely honest. Um, the, the, the resin cured a bit wonky, and I think I'm going to have a few bubbles because my resin was curing through my window as I was applying the, the shell. So we get this one out of the way first. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button for me. It is free. Uh, actually, that is still pretty cool. I love the way the light is reflecting. It is magnifying the pieces. So I may need to try this at a later date on... Look at the way the reflection as well catches that. I might have to try this on one of the big ovals. But again, 
you, you can you can do whatever colors you like there's lots of different colors in that shell set and thinking about it it probably does go quite far once you've crushed it up i use quite big pieces in this one but as always all the links are in the description box below but these are the ones that i think are going to be the best we'll start with the heart that is absolutely stunning Again, I've left a small area where I can drill through from the back, attach a pinch bale. That is absolutely beautiful. I didn't think it was going to turn out quite as well. There's no bubbles. It's worked absolutely amazing. Right, let's see the other one. Is this one going to be any better? Well, well, any better. They're both really cool. cool. <laughs> but is this one going to be... A big wow. Now you could do this as a pendant or you could do these as earrings. This is the jewelry mold set from Let's Resin. Again, I can just trim off those small bits. Wow. Look at those colours. That is phenomenal. Let me trim that up. That's better. That is absolutely designer style resin jewelry right there okay so i've just made these up as pendants so this one obviously had the hole drilled in already this one i just drilled through the back i thought i'd quickly show you for those who can't remember my last video where i showed this i just made another one using the same color shell that i used in that one so face down and we drill from the back because if we try and drill through the front the drill bit's just going to slide on the surface and scratch not too much pressure and then just begin to turn the hand drill until we get through to the other side don't apply too much pressure if you're using a hand drill because they can snap the drill bits can snap really really easy if you've got an electric one just be very very careful because one slip and that's probably going to end up going through your hand and what I like to do once I've got to a certain point you can see the drill bit just through the resin there and I can kind of see how far I've got to go again I'm not applying much pressure I'm letting the drill bit do the work for me until that pops through the surface on the other side and here it comes it's just about to pop through again no pressure just keep turning and that's that now we can turn the other way and then what I like to do is just go in through that hole through the front now through to the back come on so I'll just flip it around and then go in opposite direction just to get out any of the, the resin that's stuck and then we take one of our pinch bowels really simple open it up pop it through the front first like so then line up the back and then just push together and then I use a pair of jewelry pliers just carefully don't slip because you'll scratch the resin just push them together for extra secure extra security and safety now you can dress that on whatever kind of a necklace you want well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.